Good morning, Lord. We are thankful for today. And we say thank you for what you've done in our lives. Thank you for every moment where you came and just did something special in and through us. Thank you, Father, for your provision. Thank you, Lord, for your forgiveness where we did wrong. Thank you every morning for a new opportunity through the blood of Christ. Holy Spirit, help us to see all these special, special moments that Father has given us in His will, according to His will, according to His desire. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for opening our eyes in all of this. We say, God, thank you for even this morning, this day, the new opportunity we have, and that we have the capacity to hear you, to relate to you, to be the temple of the living God of the universe. Oh, we honor you for that, Father, and we say what an awesome honor that you're giving us. We appreciate your presence in our lives. We appreciate you. We appreciate your voice in our lives, your word. We appreciate the word that God help us then that we will understand how to get into your word, how to be with your word as we choose to appreciate your word. God, that we will not say that we appreciate you and your word, but our lifestyles are not in line with that. It's a treasure in our hands, in our hearts, in our minds. The treasure. Your word. Thank you for your word, Lord. We appreciate your hand on us. Now you are keeping us safe and that you will not relax your hold on us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you will guide me and so many others. That you will guide us in into prayer and into a lifestyle of focusing with gratitude, with appreciation on that, what you are doing and on who you are in and through us and that we will use this time on earth, use it in a special way, use it as a gift from you, not just to get through a day, but God to appreciate the day that you've given us to live to the full and to look at its opportunities. We know crisis is a crisis, but it's an opportunity, even in this season. Help us to see the opportunities you are giving us. And it's an opportunity, Lord, to, to express humility, to express the lifestyle that you had on earth, the example on earth that you gave us, Lord. Help us to walk in that humility because, Lord, yes, to be lifted up by you, not to be lifted up by our own successes, by our own gifts and personality. Lord, but in, in all of that, that you will touch our personality, touch our talents and our abilities, that it will be you taking it and put it up there, Lord, for you giving us everything, Lord, and even today, as we come in humility before you, you lift us up <clears throat> into the place that we need to be. You take us into that place of success with you, into that place of being fulfilled, into that place of being faithful and, and doing everything that you've inquired and required us to do thank you for that father thank you for the opportunity that we cannot doesn't have to be standing ashamed humiliated by circumstances but for the opportunity and the honor to humble ourselves before you as an act of worship an act of love an act of appreciation an act of gratitude an act of really Honoring you as the one in us. Thank you, Father, that through your Holy Spirit we can learn these good manners in your presence. God, that we will not be arrogant and just say the way we want it, and that 
we can just say, "Ah, oh, you know our hearts, and therefore we, we express how, how we want to, Lord. Teach us the fear of God. Come, Holy Spirit, teach us the fear of God so that we can have good manners in the presence of our Father, in the presence of your word, in the presence of the opening up of your word. Thank you, my Father. Thank you that you teach us the fear of God and that you teach us how to be with respect in our Father's presence, that our good manners will reflect our gratitude, appreciation, and the expression of the humility that you've created in us through the fear of God. We honor you for that this morning. In Jesus' name, amen.